Aries, since tomorrow is the official start of spring, I thought it would be a good idea to give you all some outfit suggestions with some tips for your body shape and height in mind. So let's get started with look number one. When I think about spring, pastels are the first thing that come to mind. What I love about this dress is that it's in a style and silhouette that flatters every body shape and height. The reason is because it's a skater dress and these kind of dresses generally have an A-line skirt, which doesn't cling to the hips for you curvier shapes like the pair in hourglass, yet it flares out slightly for the creation of some curves on the bottom where the pleats can really be seen for you apple and rectangular shapes. Dresses that offer a complete pattern throughout the dress go great with the hourglass and rectangular shapes since the body is more symmetrical. If you're rectangular or tall, add a waist belt to prevent your body from appearing endlessly long as if you're just this long being. If you're an apple shape, I'd suggest either a solid pastel dress or one that has a pattern on the skirt portion so it doesn't appear stretched out on your bust. So here's a close-up of the pattern. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful with like just a sea of different colors and it's just gorgeous. And I also wanted to show you guys the accessories that I chose to match with it. I chose some colors that are within the dress just to pull it out and to further enhance the look and create some cohesiveness. Look number two gives you an idea on how you can style your chambray or denim shirt during these spring months. I would suggest this look for all my petites who are pear or rectangular. As you can see, my leather jacket is in a darker toned pastel color. This is something you want to go for if you're petite in general since wearing softer pastels can make you appear like a little girl. I also have a complete white look going on underneath which visually elongates you and nude or tannish wedges that further enhance the elongating effect. So as you can see here we have quite a bit of layering going on and this is what's really going to help with the pear shape because as I mentioned in my black and white video um, when you're working with white it brings attention to the area where you're wearing the white so in this case I have white bottoms but what's going to help balance out the eye with the width of the hips is that I have quite a bit of layering fabric contrast and color contrast going on here. This third look would go great with all of the body shapes and height since we have an even distribution of color and a cinched in effect at the waist which takes the place of a waist belt which is great. The only thing I want to mention for all you apple shapes or inverted triangles is that you may want to avoid a shirt like this that has pockets right on the bust since it'll make you appear even more busty. So I wanted to show you guys a close-up of the necklace that I chose to pair the look with. And as you guys know, I always mention that the chest area, the neck area, is the most flattering part of every woman. So we should always embrace that by accessorizing ourselves and just um, adding some fun and interesting pieces to our looks. And here's a close-up of the shoes that I chose to wear with the look. I didn't think that you guys were able to really see it when I just showed the complete outfit. But uh, here it is. I love them. They're by Nine West and they are actually probably my most favorite um, spring shoes. Look number four, the final look, is so beautiful. It actually reminds me of like strawberries or cotton candy. It's just a really fun, flirty a spring or a summer look, which I absolutely love. Now, when I wear flowy tops like this, I generally tuck them in or belt them so that my waistline doesn't get lost, which I highly suggest if you're rectangular because, again, you lack that natural waistline. So the last thing you want to do is wear a flowy top that's going to make you appear even more boxy. So to give you a close up of what I'm talking about, you see it just has, it's you still have that flowy vibe going on, that relaxed cool vibe, but your upper body and lower body doesn't appear as just one um, being, I always like to use that being, but it doesn't appear endlessly long and you're breaking up your upper and lower portions which is essential if you're rectangular. So here's a close-up of my shoes. They're also by Nine West, and I believe I got these from TJ Maxx a few years ago. I definitely suggest Nine West shoes because they're extremely comfortable, they're affordable, and they always have such a great selection of spring and summer shoes. So definitely check them out. 
So this concludes the video, ladies. As always, I hope that you found my tips and ideas helpful in creating outfits for the spring, for your height, and for your body shape, and just have fun with it, considering everything that I mentioned. And don't forget to check out my fashion blog, jaleesasfashionfiles.com, for outfit of the days and outfit inspiration, and my Facebook page, where I'm always posting ideas and tips for the body shape as well. So until next time, don't forget to stay beautiful, confident, and true to your beautiful selves. Two, three. <laughs>